first off, I think you have to have uh, thick skin. Because um, especially being on the internet, people are going to try and, uh, you know, uh, get an emotion from you. Like they'll, they'll send letters of hate mail and telling you you should stop. And uh, one of the, you know, main tips if you want to start is to have thick skin and just to either ignore them or use it for your own benefit. Um, I think um, there's there's definitely a, f a few things. Um, one of it would be like uh, actually imagine like everyone's all saying we want like more views, more subscribers, or whatever. But like actually imagine if you had it, what would you do with it? You'd, like I think a lot of people just kind of just stop there and they say, oh shoot, I got X amount of hits, yes. But it's like, okay, what now? So it's more about like it's less about how many views you get. It's more about what you do with the eyes that are watching you. You have. We have amazing reach to like you know the people that support us, thankfully. Um, but I think the question that we should always ask ourselves is, well, what are we doing with the, those viewers and those eyeballs? Because we actually have you know a, a huge amount of influence, and that's kind of like the I think one question that you need to decide first is like, well, when you get there, what are you going to do with it? Because some people might not know. Right, and uh, like when I started, I you know when we all started, we we didn't anticipate getting this large following. But once you do have a large following like that, you kind of take on a role model position where, you know, if you mess up, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to criticize you or say, oh, you know, you shouldn't do this, you're a role model now, or your people, you know, look up to you sometimes. So, so yeah, it's just definitely some pressure to, uh, you know, be funny, but not, you know, uh, I know Tim's a really good role model, and so <laughs> he, he knows that, no, i but yeah, it's just, uh, you know, you got to, that, uh, you know, you want to also for us Asian Americans, we want to like support that Asian movement and represent Asian America, uh, Asian Americans in entertainment. You know, so uh, yeah, there's there's a little pressure there, but I mean, uh, pressure is good. You know, that's that's why we do it. See, what, it's funny that you, you mentioned that because um, with me, I think because um, you're talking about being a role model, sometimes I think I, I try, especially with the videos. Um, to be a little more of an asshole or a little, cause like sometimes you watch my video, like you saw that one where I was like, yeah, I'm the shit at everything. And like, I'm not like that in real life, but when I make my videos, you know, I make sure I'm, I, I try and do that to try to show that like, okay, look, not all Asian guys are timid and quiet, you know? So I, I want to like, okay, look, we're, we're cocky assholes sometimes, you know, like sometimes, you know, we, um, sometimes we only want girl for her body sometimes, you know, I put it out there. So it's like, look, we're not these little sensitive little, little things all the time, you know? Yeah. So in uh, terms of right. being a good role model, like on the reverse, you know? I think, I think actually Tim, what you do really well that, that, that we like is that you are that, you represent that side of things too. That needs, and that needs to be said as well. So that's why. I don't know if you guys know my second second channel, Jumbo Fun, but it's basically that where I find a balance where I do what I want to do, which is make videos and make people laugh, and then at the same time, uh, the more people watch. So I, I don't really have to like, you know, uh, money doesn't really come out of my pockets, but it's just my I, me doing creative things and being funny and and being able to raise money for these charities and uh, these things. So that was sort of how I. Yeah, because my like my parents too. They always like tell me like they raise me like, oh like, um, my dad's favorite line in any movie is uh, from Spider Man when he's like, when great power comes great responsibility. So you know my dad tries to be like Confuci Confucius and he tells me that when when I started getting popular on YouTube, he's like, now that you have responsibility, you have to. So and then I was like, yeah, you're right, dad. So you know, Jumbo Fun kind of started from all that, and uh, yeah, it's it's cool. I think um, there's definitely uh, what, like you know a lot of the, yeah a lot of followers like do kind of you know approach asking them to put their agenda on you, and I think um, you have to kind of we kind of at least for me like I always ask myself like there are always noble causes and stuff but it's like you know that you can only do so much, um, and to a certain point like you have to also um, you know think about where your like your position is at too because if if you started doing too many of these other things, then you won't even be in a position to, you know, be talking to like your viewers anymore because they won't be expecting the same thing. So you kind of have to just make sure that you're not, like not selling, that's the wrong word, but like um, catering too much to something that, you know, isn't, you know, something that you, you really want to do as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I think like in, um, 
on YouTube on your main channel, what you want to do is uh, keep your you always want to keep your fans and viewers engaged for the reason they subscribe. Like even though you want to help, because I've done I've done videos first like Revo and some other nonprofit organizations, but you don't want to just like spread yourself too thin. You know you don't want to just do all like every single little thing that comes into you because then your fans will, will be like, what the hell is this? You know they didn't subscribe to you to for charity, even though it's for a good cause, it's not why they're watching. So, like what Kev did with his second channel, I think that's really good. And um, I don't have a second channel, but I, when stuff like that comes in, I go on Twitter, use my Facebook. Um, I just try to keep that YouTube kind of separate in a way. But uh, yeah, I've, I've used my main channel for that occasionally, but not all the time. I don't, I don't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's about finding a good fit between like, I guess your your identity like online and the, the the work that you make online. Finding a good fit with you know something that you support. You don't want it to come out of, out of nowhere. Um, and I think as long as you have a good following, they'll understand what you're trying to do. And um, you know the the better you you integrate that cause into a video or for us a video that. Um, like okay, I'll just give an example. Like if, if a charity came to us or a cause came to us, we try to integrate it the best we could into our regular videos so that it wouldn't be as jarring for the audience. And I think hopefully people appreciate that.